so but this is like I'ma just show you. I'ma just show you. I'ma just show you. I'ma just show you. Hold on. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a plant tour. <laughs> a house plant tour. Um I've been wanting to do this video for like a really long time. And I don't know, like I just haven't done it, but today I'm feeling very inspired. So I'm gonna show you guys all of my house plants. And with this channel, you might notice that I have a lot of phases <laughs> in my life. Like I have a lot of different things that I'm interested in. So this is definitely not a niche type of channel at all. Like I like hair, I like makeup, I like plants, I like, my doggy back there, he's behind my plant right here. But anyway, so on this channel, I'm just gonna post whatever I wanna post and bring y'all along for the ride. Um, you know, take what I say in this video with a grain of salt. I'm only speaking on my experience with these plants in my growing conditions. And I do have like a little thermometer thing. I can tell you guys right now, I have my plants in a north facing window unfortunately <laughs> I, the north facing window gets the least amount of light throughout the day but actually i'm using this my like balcony like window area to film this video and it actually is looking pretty good y'all let me know in the comments down below how it looks the lighting it, i feel like it's more of like a really low to medium light i don't think this would be considered bright light at all and also note that it's a cloudy day today. It's no sun out. So we can take that into consideration too as far as the lighting situation going on right now. But so far I think it looks good and we're gonna hop into the video with this tour. So I'm not going, um, I'm not grabbing any these plants in any particular order. I'm just grabbing them as I go and talk a little bit about them and then move on to the next. So let's see, who's gonna be first? I don't know, I don't know. I think I do know, so. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with my Philodendron Silver Sword, like, how stunning are these leaves? And look at this new one unfurling. Like, how gorgeous, right? I found this at a plant shop out in Columbia, South Carolina. And um, I'm, I'm obsessed. Like, sorry, I was just looking at it. <laughs> I just love coming home and looking at this plant. Like, I'm so freaking obsessed. Um, the person that inspired me to get this plant on was on YouTube. Her name is Wild Fern. I'm sure you guys maybe have seen a couple of her videos, but she has like this huge Philodendron Silver Sword and I was like, I'm obsessed. So when I saw this plant and this plant, I guess I'll try to give prices too if I can remember. So this plant actually came up to 25 freaking bucks. Like this huge, would you call this like a cutting? I don't know. But this huge like, you know, plant was freaking 25 bucks at a nursery I visited. And the foliage is like, I just feel like this video is not doing it any justice at all. Like I have this um, tied up to this bamboo stake um, and so far so good I want to give it a moss pole but I'm also like I feel like I would need a huge moss pole <laughs> so I don't know I'll work on it I'll work on getting this plant a moss pole so yeah to start off this video plant number one philodendron silver sword thumbnail <laughs> okay so the next plant i want to talk about here is my hoya crimson princess this is my very first hoya in my collection and how gorgeous is she 
um i actually saw this leaf earlier where is it it was like a half moon a half moon like hoya leaf like how stinging adorable oh found it right where is it here like is literally variegation split down the middle of the leaf there's another leaf like that too around here somewhere if i find it i'll show you guys but yeah like how gorgeous and i think i got a a plant of i um i originally discovered this this stem right here that's all green with like little splashes of variegation on it and i thought it was a different plant but i think um when i saw another video of like hoya care they had the same type of plant like Kerns and Princess, but they did say that it would put out leaves, like all green leaves sometimes. So I think this is just normally how the plant would grow. But yeah, I thought that was so cute. And I really want to propagate this stem to see if it'll just be an all green plant and not develop any fenestrations. Um, not fenestrations. <laughs> Variegation. Um, but look at this baby leaf coming in. How stinking adorable. Like, I've just been obsessed. I've been obsessed, honestly. And I found this at Lowe's for $14.98. You know, at the tax, it came up to like 15 bucks for a 1.25 quart basket. And it, it did come with like a hanging basket thing, but I took it off. So, yeah. I've just been watering this plant whenever I think I need to water it. Whenever the pot gets light is when I water it pretty much. I don't stick my finger in the soil or anything. And I also watch for the leaves. A lot of people say like to squeeze the leaves and if they're very soft to squeeze or easy to squeeze, then you should water it too. So yeah, this is my Hoya Crimson Princess with some stems of i think the regular green stem hoya is technically called just regular like hoya carnosa let me in the comments let me know in the comments if i'm wrong i think it's just considered hoya carnosa for that these you know these two strands <laughs> that are in my plant so yeah Let's see, who's next? So I'm going to talk about a small plant here. This is my Philodendron Splendid. Look, you guys, how stinking adorable. My dog knocked over this plant recently, so some soil is knocked out, and the, the stake is no longer stable. <laughs> but look, I'm losing a leaf. I'm so sad. I'm going to plop this off, actually, while we're here since it's dying off okay it's not coming off easily i'll leave it so yeah this is my philodendron splendid you guys i could talk about this plant all day so i got this plant as a one leaf cutting you guys this is the original leaf this is the original leaf and i have two offshoots of plants coming from this one with this one leaf cutting how crazy is that so i got this plant off of etsy um i don't know the grower off the top of my head i can't remember the price but um editing me will put the grow the um shop name and the price that i paid for it on the screen let's see oh Another thing about my Splendid, I did order a moss pole for this one. <laughs> I did order a moss pole, so I'm so excited for it to get here. And I guess I could do a video of me potting up my Philodendron Splendid with the moss pole. I think that'll be cute and that'll be fun. Anyways, so next plant we have here is my um, Marble Queen Pothos. How could I forget, right? she is stunning like look at all this variegation stunning so long story short about this plant is that um actually this used to be a very large plant like it came in a hanging basket like like the hoya about the same size type hanging basket of this hoya 
luscious, beautiful. I will put pictures on the screen of how gorgeous this plant used. Well, I mean, it still is. You still are. But um, I used to have a much larger plant. I took this. These are cuttings from the mother plant. Um, and this is actually going to go to my cousin. But yeah, the mother plant, rest her soul. She is no longer with us. Um, she got, uh, I don't know. I had, I had her sitting outside all summer. She loved it. She was eating up the sun, the little sun that she does get. And I left. And I left for a couple of days. It was about five days, five, six days. Came back. My plant was destroyed, like, to a crisp. Like, I don't know what pest was on that plant, but it got ate up. So the mother plant is gone. I'm glad I took cuttings. <laughs> but, yeah, so sad story, sad story. She used to be so large and luscious, but now she's gone. I did say a few words. I did say a few words for her at her plant funeral. Next plant we have here is a um, Philodendron Golden Goddess. This is a tiny cutting that um, I got from Lowe's. It was on the floor. <laughs> it was on the ground in Lowe's. And I picked this bad boy up and put it in my pocket and I rooted it in water. And this is another plant that my dog knocked over. So it's kind of just hanging out in this pot right now. I'm just so, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to get to it today. I'm going to go ahead and add more soil to this plant and get it in here properly. But this is another baby that I took for my cousin that she's going to be getting alongside the um, golden, the um, marble queen pothos. But um, yeah, so this is another tiny cutting that I rooted in water and put it in soil and yeah, cutie patootie. And speaking, I guess we'll go from that plant and segue on to the larger size plant that I did get from Lowe's that I, I did pay for a plant yes <laughs> I don't just go searching for little pieces on the ground I did buy the big the bigger size plant and how stunning is this it is so stinking gorgeous I think um yeah, I think I said the name Golden Goddess, right? So I think mine has a little bit of variegation on the leaf, like right there. Is that variegation or am I just like doing the most? Am I just looking too far into it? I don't know. <laughs> but I just feel like, I feel like there's nothing, there's no other spots like this on any of the other leaves. So it's just a tiny little piece of variegation on my plant. Got it from, did I say? Lowe's. Total on this plant was, um, it's not on the planter, which is weird, but I think I paid $15 for this. $14.98. You know how they have those type of prices. $14.98. But yeah. Again, all of these plants are in my north facing balcony window. And this this type of lighting that it gets is not its peak lighting because again, it has not been a sunny day today. So, who's next? Um Oh, let's talk about my girl back here. Let's talk about my girly. Ah! How stunning is my neon pothos? How gorgeous is she? Like, I think I need to give her some water. The planter is really light. She's really light. I think she needs some water. But yeah, like, I found this plant at Lowe's. Y'all, Lowe's is my spot, okay? <laughs> Lowe's is my spot. Total $14.98. But how stunning is she? If I have any before pictures, like, I'll post, like, pictures, um, of when I first got it, the photo, the um, plant with the date. And then I'll, um, you know, this is like the now, obviously. I got most of these plants this year. Maybe. I might be lying. But anyways, this is my neon pothos. She is a trailing girl. Look at these leaves. Like, ah, so pretty. There's new growth everywhere, literally everywhere. This is such a full pot. My Lowe's has been getting such 
full pots of plants lately. I'm just like, oh my goodness, like they're so lush and gorgeous. Like what is going on here? Like, <laughs> like I'm so excited. So yeah, this is my girl. Look at these two stems. They are just growing new leaves every single day. So proud of her, so proud of her, honestly. Let's see. Who is next? Who's next here? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess we could talk about my Monsteras. So, let's see here. Yep. So, this is a cutting I got off of Etsy. It is supposed to be a Monstera elbow cutting. <laughs> As you can tell, these are all green leaves. <laughs> they are still very juvenile, very childish, very childish leaves. But look at this aerial root that it shot out. Like, that is crazy. And it went right into the soil on the side of the pot very very interesting what it's doing here and they're both the leaves are turned towards the um towards the sun obviously monsteras are like prone to do that i mean all plants will lean towards the sun but like monsteras definitely they will reach <laughs> they will press up against whatever the light source is basically so this was just like a um also this was just a um a node this was a leafless node I am so proud of myself. <laughs> I've grown this from literally nothing. I, you know, put the pictures up. I grew this from nothing, honey. And I got two leaves now. I got two leaves on my baby. So I think I had a third leaf, but it died off. I can't remember. Ah, 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 leave it. Oh, I thought y'all could see him. Ace, leave it. That's a good bowl way. That's a good leave it, Ace. That's a good leave it, buddy. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so this was grown from nothing. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Even though it has no variegation, right? Anyways, we moving on. Uh, this is a cutting from a bigger mother plant that I had as well. I have it in this vase or vase with some water and it's just grown super crazy roots in the time frame of me throwing it in here um the mother plant like my marble queen my marble queen and my mother plant for my monstera were side by side outside on the balcony i got back from visiting my grandmother and both of the plants were nothing i had to throw both of them away there was nothing to spare i took this cutting way be long before that so um i'm glad i did again i'm glad i took cuttings because little did i know that those plants would die moving on <laughs> um let's see here who's next uh I want to talk about my teneke i want to talk about my ficus elastica teneke how stunning is she like how stunning look at this leaf the variegation is just so gorgeous i cannot take it so this plant actually came from walmart this plant i think was 17 dollars. it was like 16 or 17 bucks out of walmart um, it came it came with two main stalks and a tiny little baby stalk. I don't know if y'all can see right here this leaf. This is a whole nother plant. This is a whole nother tiny baby plant. <laughs> like I got three plants in one pot from Walmart for less than twenty dollars. Insane, insane. So this one as y'all can see has been you know going through it a little bit the browning on the edges of the leaves i think is due to the water i've been giving it and also is not is definitely got not getting enough light as it should um but i do have a grow light i want to go ahead and set up my grow light 
and see if I can get this baby back on track. But yeah, she is stunning. She is so stunning. I'm gonna fight to keep this plant alive because I did have another ficus elastica teneke and it died due to neglect. It died due to neglect. There was no pest. It was me. It was all me. I'll take the blame. Yes. Yes, I am a plant murderer. I just have to own it, you know? Moving on. So that's my Teneke thumbnail. Okay. Okay, you guys. So for the next plant that I have here to display is my cacti my cactus so this is i believe a um thanksgiving cactus this is either thanksgiving or christmas cactus i'm not 100 percent certain i got this from my cousin the one that i'm sending these or i'm giving these um, little baby plants to my baby <laughs> my baby marble queen and my baby philodendron golden goddess she um so kindly gifted me this um cactus and i'm so happy she gave it to me in this planter like this is so gorgeous like i saw this plant and i was just like i have to have it so i have not gotten this to bloom just yet unfortunately i'm sorry i had to sit it down just then because it, it, it this thing is heavy it is heavy um but I'm just trying to give you guys a good look. But yeah, like she's stunning. She's stunning. Yes, she is. She's been very happy here and I try to water her. I honestly, I do. I am more of a underwaterer when it comes to my plants than an overwaterer for sure. Like my plants be like down bad before, <laughs> before I really like give them a good drink. Um, I just, I, um, because I do have so many like philodendron, I know that they don't like their roots to be wet or to stay in soggy soil. So I make sure like if I think they need to be watered, I give it another day or two or three before I actually water it pretty much. So all of my plants have to get accustomed to that lifestyle, honestly. <laughs> unfortunately for them but yeah um let's see what's next so i okay i have this big boy here this is my oh this is my zz plant how freaking huge like i don't even think i can get it all in the frame but my ZZ is so big and you guys I have some exciting news about my ZZ because I think I have some variegated leaves on my ZZ plant like how freaking cool is that like um I'm gonna insert some photos because I don't want to move my whole little kind of like setup I have going on right now but I'm gonna insert some photos I have found two variegated leaves on my ZZ and I don't know what I did to deserve this but I'm so freaking excited like I almost want to just cut those stalks and just propagate those stalks that I saw the leaves on and um see what happens from there but i also want to let it keep growing and just see what it does like i want like this i want like a huge zz i do want a huge zz so i'm just like i'm debating like do i want to propagate do i not i don't know if i decide to then i will try to record the process yeah, so this is my zz plant she now this baby right here she gets no water she gets watered not even once a month she gets watered every other month like she has really been going through it and she still gives me new leaves like she gives me new stalks all the time like i i can't kill it i cannot kill this plant if you want to get someone a plant that doesn't really know how to take care of a plant get them a zz plant you can neglect it and then you'll be like oh yeah let me go water my plant and then that'll be it like 
it's so easy care so simple she does not fuss at all i've had her on my balcony all summer and she's been loving it <laughs> she has honestly been loving it i can't do anything to kill it like it's just so happy <laughs> it's so large and in charge i have nowhere to put it either i honestly kept it outside because i just i didn't know where to put it inside where it would get adequate and adequate light so so yeah that's my zz here we are here to show is my small little golden pothos she's just now starting to trail out of this pot i put her in this little um terracotta she is so stinking cute like how cute is she this is one of the newest leaves that she put out. Look at that variegation, like so stunning. And she's already putting off a new leaf. She just put, fully unfurled this leaf and is already putting out this unfurling this leaf too. Like I feel like once golden pothos start trailing, it's just never ending from there. Like they are such prolific growers that it's like is so exciting like you're just always like getting a new leaf like how fun is that <laughs> you know like that's the point that's the point of having these plants they to watch them grow so they she's put it out this is her largest leaf that she's put out and i got these cuttings from my cousin the same the same cousin i've been talking about this whole time <laughs> and i got these cuttings from her mother plant and it's kind of like i just have a small piece of her with me all the time you know she's kind of that girl like just stunning so those are all of my current plants well i've actually been saving one for last so but this is like I'm gonna just show you. 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 Hold on. Okay, you guys. And to conclude this video, I wanted to show you guys the plant that inspired this whole, for me to make this whole like video. And my newest addition to my collection. Look at this golden pothos. Just look at this go to Impothos I found today. Lowe's, $20. Look at this plant. Look how freaking huge. I'm gonna give you guys a 360. I hope it's all coming like in the frame. I'm gonna keep spinning it, keep spinning. Like, how stunning like look at these leaves look at this variegation like stunning stunning look at this leaf there's a huge leaf at the top of the plant oh here it is look at this leaf it's i haven't dusted it off or anything from getting it from the store just now so i maybe should have washed it off in the shower before doing this video but look at this leaf it's almost the size of my hand like how freaking gorgeous is this plant like i have to try to get close-ups it's trailing so beautifully already like oh my goodness i could not leave it i could not leave this plant at the store i was like oh my gosh and um okay so deets on this, this um plant so like i said the plant was 19.98 20 dollars um this is a three quart hanging basket so grown by costa farms by the way costa farms but yeah you guys i just wanted to show you guys this plant you know i wanted to save i don't want to say the best for last <laughs> but this is like I was shook when I saw this. I was like, oh my gosh, this is huge. Like, for 20 bucks, like, you can't beat this. You cannot beat this. Like, 
I am so excited. I already have determined that I will be propagating this plant <laughs> and making more golden pothos because why not? Like, and I do want to make plants for like my friends and some of my friends and family and things. So yeah, I saw this and I was just like, I have to have it. And I just feel like golden pothos are so slept on when they shouldn't be. Just because they're common does not mean that they're any less gorgeous. And this was such a good find in my opinion. And if you guys go to your local Lowe's and see a giant pothos, pick it up. Just, just pick it up and bring it home and love it for the rest of its life. <laughs> We're just going to end off the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to continue my plant learning journey with you guys here on my channel. And yeah, until the next video. See you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>